Hi Pisces, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your January 2021 tarot reading. I'm using the Wisdom of the Oracle and the Light Seers Tarot. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, Pisces, Happy New Year, first of all. Um, I hope you had a nice holiday season. Um, let's just get your energy in here and see what's going on. Pisces. January 2021 Pisces. I saw teeth. I can see teeth. You know, teeth biting down, chomping, chomping is the word I thought of, chomping down, chomping down. Okay, tell me for Pisces, what is going on in January 2021? Oh, oh, there was three. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to take that one. It jumped out. It should stay out. And it is a leg up, a leg up. So um, a leg up is trying to get ahead of the game, you know, trying to get ahead of the game with payments, with work, with within a relationship even, you know. Come to the edge. So take a risk. Don't be afraid. Go for it. unfinished symphony so there's something that was perhaps began and, and never quite finished something there's something more here is basically what it's saying and then yang fire energy now, I'm pretty sure yang is male energy this is the 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 masculine energy it's yeah it's a one okay this would could be someone with um their numerology they're a number one they're uh an alpha you could be also a number one but it is definitely fire energy it's masculine energy there's something I think you're trying to get ahead of. You're trying to get a, a, a hold of, a grasp of. Um, it might be also risky as far as your heart goes and love and the way you feel. It's taking a chance. There's no guarantee. Um, you might be trying to get some information in this leg up. You might be trying to talk to people, find out something before you risk uh you risk oh so we have um king of swords talking about talking to people this is all about communication this person is very logical could be older could have you know they're just very um they like to talk about the facts and 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 truth and and logic what's sensible you know so this could be the person that is in this unfinished symphony could be a Gemini Libra or Aquarius male or female doesn't have to be but uh, someone who uh, is trying to help you see the logic something like that So right now in your present, like kind of in the past, before January, you have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. So, um, <laughs> you know, I, I think that, first of all, this is passion, right? This is passion. This is getting entangled into something. It's a bright idea. 
It's creative energy. It's very expansive. It's wanting to take action, make moves, uh, something to happen. Let's get this baby going, right? And it could be in the area of romance. You could be wanting a relationship. You want... Um, it could be just like a friendship or in the family. It could be, you know, um, reconciling, you know, with a family member. Or it could be love. You could have very passionate feelings about someone. It could be about someone that's thinking about walking away. They, you know, they don't want to deal with any, for one thing, any negative communication. I'm done with all that. This is um, not wanting to deal with anything painful. Um, perhaps they could have went through a hard time, um, something like that, and they're just coming out of it. They're just releasing themselves, you know, sort of thing. Um, like I said, it could be an air sign, this person that you're waiting i get the feeling you're wanting but you're kind of it could be biding your time you could be waiting for them to come out of this painful experience or a uh, chapter in their lives something like that in the present which is in the first couple of weeks of january you have the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Um, well, I'm seeing some sort of reluctance to see the work, the time, the energy that's already been um, contributed to this. You know, the there is seeds planted there is growth there doesn't seem to be a lot of growth right now it might take a while before you can see the um the fruits of your labor basically you're not really seeing them you're seeing a couple of leaves you know not really seeing any fruit okay basically um, perhaps you're having a hard time getting this person to see, uh, the, the benefits of this union, this, you know, what it could be kind of thing. It's like I said, there's some sort of, someone's got the blinders on and can't seem to see. They're really... They could be suffering in some way or could have been. They could be getting through that, like I said. And and this could be you too, you know, Pisces. This could be you that's gone through a lot of suffering, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. Uh, could have gone through some loss. And for you, it's hard to, it's not that easy to see your choices. You don't really see your, your, you worry about stability and security and providing. There's some sort of provision there, okay? But you, <laughs> I think for you, you're confused. It's like, I, I can't figure out which way to go here. I can't figure it out. I So I'll do nothing. I'm just going to do nothing. I'm just going to sit right here, you know, because it's not, it's, it doesn't feel like either choice uh, looks promising, you know, that way just looks like endless desert everywhere. And that looks like I'm just a forest. I can't really see anything, you know, and so this is the thing. It's a risk, right? You don't know for sure. It's a risk. And maybe you're a person that is used to solid investments. You know, I put a seed in the ground, I'll get a plant. You're you're like a sure thing, you know, and this isn't so sure. It's like you you feel tangled, 
up in this, you know. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but it's cute. Oh, the world. The king of pentacles. So that's two kings. There's a lot of male energy here, right? I told you. And the eight of pentacles. I'm not surprised to see this, you know. I was just thinking of it a second ago when I saw the seven. Because when I saw that seven, you're thinking, well, geez, I've done this and this and this. And, you know, I'm not seeing any fruit. But you've got more work to do yet. You're not done, I'm afraid. Um, the, the world um, represents, well, for one thing, it's entering a new life cycle something different you know you've done it this way for this long and now you're about to do something different different responsibilities different lifestyle perhaps the way you do things where you do things sometimes this implies travel you could be traveling um i really think it's more of a a new lifestyle sort of thing i think that you know if you look at what's going on here down this first line so here's all this passion this energy this dying to expand you know and but there's some sort of mental trap here there's some sort of um you know, you're having you're having a hard time convincing yourself kind of thing. And then there seems to be a complete freedom from that. You know, um, also it could be this person. Remember I told you they could be gone through some sort of painful anxiety, I don't know, something, and being completely freed from that. I think this is you, Pisces. You're entering a new life cycle. You could be in a seven, a, a seven cycle, so seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, you know, all those. You could be one of those ages or about to enter one of those ages this year. But this ready, this tells us that we're ready for a new life cycle, a new lifestyle, but also new responsibilities. We gain new freedoms, but we also uh, gain new responsibilities. Um, this represents, this is an older man, a mature man. It doesn't have to be really old, but it just means very educated very knowledge and experienced could be a lone wolf just him and his dog um really wanting to put his energy all that knowledge and skill and everything into something new you perhaps maybe even want to help somebody else um uh brainstorm or something like that but this is wanting to create something again you could have financial, uh, you know, money to put in to invest, but this investment is not just financial. It's your time and energy, perhaps even physical. But I have a feeling it's to do with what you know, you know, because there's all these books in the background. You have a lot of knowledge. Uh, it also might be a time for you to teach, to become the teacher, to pass these teachings down. And like I said, when you're entering a new life cycle, you have new responsibilities. You carry a lot of knowledge and, and it's, it's, you might be ready to pass something down. Okay. This is kind of what I get the feeling of. This also could be, uh, earth energy around you, um, Taurus, Capricorn, or, Virgo um, person. This could be who you want the relationship, who you have put um, some sort of investment in, you know. Uh, it could be, um, there, it could be healing too, 
you know, some sort of healing. Uh, but then there's the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is about putting work in. Also, to me, it's re this one especially is really about connecting again connecting with people uh could be on the phone on the internet um you could like i said be passing down the teachings right because this is you know this is expanding this is spreading out rippling big time um you might have been unsure about how you were going to do this in the past. Maybe this uh, earth sign comes up and says, well, why don't you do this? I think you should do it this way or something like that. They might have a, a good idea for you of how to um, get this message out. It's like broadband. Okay. It is. Um <laughs> It's really kind of neat because there, there's a lot of hands in your reading. Hands, okay? It's like hand to hand, lending a hand, um, opening your hands. There's a lot of hand. I don't know. Hands are strong in your reading in january okay i don't know why but they are please uh you'll be able to let me know once you get into january of course we're not there yet but i'd love to know in the comments if what the hands have to do with this um yeah so if you like this video hit that like button share and subscribe it's all free and it helps me a lot and i really appreciate it also, this ad-free video is brought to you by Capricorn this month, and it's their birthday and their time to send in their annual $25 contribution to my channel. That $25 represents a dollar per video or more that I put out in a year. I mean, or more videos. Um... So I do that for their sign and every sign. They pay for their own, but they get to watch them all. And so do you. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you next year. Bye now.